Hey everybody, this is Shock, and um, I had a debate with another atheist in my chat room below. If you click more info or show, show more info below this video, and he, the guy did horrible. He lost the debate, um, and also, as you know, Christopher Hitchens debated a very wise Christian theist, and he lost the debate. So. You can see that debate where Christopher Hitchens lost right below this video when you click show more or more info right below this video. Now I'm going to give you, first let me tell you about uh, my debate that I had. <clears throat> what happens, as you know, I've challenged the number one most subscribed to atheist on YouTube, The Amazing Atheist, and he has chickened out. I gave him three weeks to get back with me. And he, he is an evolutionist, so he probably evolved into a chicken because he is afraid to debate me. After three weeks, we hear nothing but crickets chirping. Everyone's emailing him, but he said he just won't do it. He is afraid, in my humble opinion. Now, also, I have challenged non-stamp collector I've given him three weeks he's got about two weeks left motorcycle brothers there so we're gonna wait for him to wuss out I mean call me call me back or email me <laughs> I don't think he's gonna be doing it they always chicken out hey atheist you're a lot of talk on YouTube but when it comes to going mono to mono in the ultimate fighting championship of debate all of a sudden I hear buk, 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 buk. Okay, hold on, let me get around this dude. And then let me tell you about this last atheist that I debated. He was horrible. First of all hold on, I'm tucked in here. First of all, he um he he messed up during the debate. He said, well Islam and Christianity are the same. They agree on the same things. I mean, if you're going to be a Christian, you might as well be a Muslim, he says. And I go, how could you say that they agree on the same things? That's totally wrong. And so, so let me point out his error. Here's the problem. Because Islam is wrong, and by the way, Islam is a lot like atheism. They're bed buddies. Both Islam and atheism are bed buddies. They spoon together. I'm going to prove it to you. But because Islam is wrong, you can't then say that Christianity is wrong. What type of silly logic is that? And another point of his error, and then I'll tell you why atheism and Islam are bed buddies. Another point of his error is he doesn't know the difference between Islam. Islam and the Quran, it was written hundreds and hundreds of years later after the Bible. It's an offshoot of the Bible. It's a corruption of the Bible. For example, Islam says, <laughs> get this, Islam says that Jesus did not die on the cross. In the Muslim culture, the Muslim belief system, they believe that there was a switcheroo done at the last moment and Judas, yes, <laughs> Judas, was crucified on the cross. Boy, if that happened, we're all damned to hell because there goes our salvation. And there is no evidence, even historical or otherwise, that that happened. They also deny that Jesus Christ is the risen Son of God, that he died on the cross and rose again. The exact same thing that atheism does. So atheists, you're very much in line with Islamic opinion. How do you feel about that, my atheist friends, that you're very much in agreement to Islam? See, Christianity believes that Jesus died and that he rose again and that through him there is salvation in no other but Jesus Christ. Islam and atheists are bed buddies. They spoon together. They agree on a lot of things. Um, now let's go on to another problem that, he, that the guy did. I brought up the teleological argument and the cosmological argument, and basically what these arguments are is we now know that the universe had a beginning. What caused it? 
and I went through some scientific proofs and evidence that the Big Bang postulates there was nothing, zero. There was nothing. There was no matter, no energy, nothing. There was no pre-existing anything. So the atheist, I challenged him to give us uh, some good arguments on how the universe was created out of nothing. How did the universe lift itself up by its bootstraps? And I hope dial -a ride gives me some uh, kickbacks. <laughs> I'm looking at the phone number. Uh, so he, he failed to do that. I talked about the fine-tuned universe, how there's about 50 constants. A lot of these constants have to be exquisitely fine-tuned in order for the universe to come into existence. He was silent on that. He couldn't refute that. It's just madness. Let's let's slip down the middle here. Let's look for nails. See any nails? There is a nail right there. Look at that big old piece of metal. So he couldn't do it. And in fact, um, nothing he said really was he was even about Christianity oh one thing he said was he said well because I said how could you explain the experiences because everyone agrees that the disciples experienced appearances of Jesus this is historical so he said well it could have been mass hallucinations and then I showed him I said hallucinations come from within the mind they come from within the mind so they had the disciples and the Jews of that time had no belief in a, a dying much less rising Messiah they believed that the Messiah was going to bring in the kingdom right then and there as evidenced by uh, the disciples thinking Jesus was going to overthrow Rome so even if it was going to be hallucination, they wouldn't have hallucinated Jesus in front of them eating food and even touching Jesus, such as in the case of Thomas, when Jesus said, look, I'm not a spirit. Spirit does not have flesh and bone like I have. Go ahead, put your finger on my side, etc." So it's not under, it, it can't be hallucinations. They would have saw Jesus at the right hand of the Father or in the spiritual place of Abraham's bosom. They would not have ate with him and sat with him and walk with him uh, now if you click below this video you could see Christopher Hitchens fail miserably in a debate just just miserably um, click right below here and you'll see the video on it but just briefly Hitchens does the same thing that my atheist debater did he basically talks about Islam and ch the child sacrifice of paganism. All these things have nothing to do with Christianity. He talks about how, in, uh, Christopher Hitchens talks about how in paganism they would sacrifice their babies and bury them underneath houses, and that's true. But that's paganism. It's just madness. <laughs> also, my Easter radio show is, is live and archived right now. Click right below this video. See it where it says more info, and you can watch the Christopher Hitchens debate my radio show and God bless you guys have a great week this is shot